Well, welcome back to Sunday Life. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for your patience, Paul. <laughs> you were telling us about the difference between the, na uh, the national resources and, of course, the, the county. Yes, the tax says that the national government will continue collecting like VAT, like customs, like income tax, like corporation tax. Uh, the national government will continue uh, to collect those taxes. Mm -hmm. And that is what is being referred to in this new constitution, national revenue. Every year, the Constitution says that out of that national revenue, a minimum of 15% uh, will go to the counties. Every year, the national revenue collected, 15% will go to each of the counties. It's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. uh, like um, in this year's budget, June, on the average, each county would have um, been given about 3 billion uh, Kenya shillings. <laughs> Massive, right. It's a lot of money. <laughs> but the counties also have the right to raise their taxes in specified areas like uh, services which they are providing, like rates, uh, mm -hmm. like uh, that sort of thing, and whatever else they are allowed by parliament uh, to raise taxes on. So the social economic situation of Kenya is going to be transformed by county governments the manner in which people are gi being given the opportunity to decide their destiny and their priorities. And, and uh, the, the ministries never th are also still investing in the counties. For instance, the Ministry of Tourism, whatever monies go to it, it's also still being pumped back across the counties in, in the various, the, the Ministry of Health. So that 15% is for use by the county governments, and yes. yet there's revenue still coming from the national government that must not be forgotten? I think the way that one wants to look at this mm -hmm. is that uh, the county and the governor, the governor of a county, is to that county what the president is to the country. He or she is a chief executive. So you've got uh, this devolved government coexisting with the national government. So even in terms of employees, there will continue to be national government employees at the county levels. But they're also going to be county government employees. Mm -hmm. So that is the way that uh, one should uh, look at this. Yes, the 15%, and as I say, that is the minimum, not the maximum. Right. Uh, is over and above uh, whatever else is being channeled uh, through the ministries. Uh, for example, education uh, remains uh, the national government responsibility. Uh, things like uh, health, um, although county governments can do their own uh, health uh, clinics mm -hmm. and uh, health uh, centers and what have you, but health as a policy remains the national government uh, responsibility. responsibility. Mind you, the ministries now are fixed at 22. So mm -hmm. they're not going to be that many, even at the county level. Okay, so yeah. still many. Some would say it's still many, <laughs> but not as many well, as we have today. Well, it's not less than uh, 14 <laughs> right, and not, not more, more than, than 22. 22. So a government of the day, the government of the day is entitled to choose whether right. to have 15. If people complain that 22 is still too many, uh, the government of the day can reduce to 15 or 16 or 17. Right. Let's talk about these all-important positions, uh, the governor position, which you've touched on, the senator. What are the job descriptions of these people? You've told us the governor is similar to the president. So what would we be looking for in terms of who we as Kenyans elect as a governor? What would we be looking for? What attributes do we need in a senator? I think the people of each county need to think very, very carefully so that it's it, it, it doesn't continue as business as usual. You cannot stop politicians from campaigning. Mm -hmm. They already are campaigning. <laughs> uh, some saying they want to be senator, others they want to be governor. But it is for the voters to appreciate that uh, the job description for governor in particular, because the governor is going to be the chief executive in a county, they really should look for a person uh, of ability and integrity, uh, I would uh, draw a job description first, people who are experienced in administration, people who are strong mm -hmm. in administration. Proven, prove with a proven track ref record. Or at least a potential. Uh, I, I would say that people should look for professionals, really. Mm -hmm. And it's not just the governor, because it's the county assembly. And the county assembly is equivalent, if you like, to the national assembly. Mm -hmm. uh, the members of the national assembly, the county assembly, are going to be elected by the total wards 
in a particular uh, county. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're not going to know the total number of, say, the members of the county assembly of Moranga County, for example, because what the law says is that one third must be women. Right. Or rather, you cannot have one gender uh, dominating. Um, you cannot have more than two thirds uh, coming from one gender. It was part of the um, uh, affirmative action. Mm -hmm. What am I saying? I am saying, for example, all the wards in Moranga, if they conduct elections, because the ward will be electing a councillor for the current uh, local authorities, the same ward will also be electing a member to go to the county assembly. Mm -hmm. So if all the wards, for the sake of argument in Moranga, are 60, for example, and when uh, the results are in, uh, men are 50 and only 10 are women. What the law says is that the political parties uh, which have elected those 50 men mm -hmm. must nominate women to take, proportionately to take so at that least women one third become seats. one third. That, that we, we, must, we must close time is so short, but tell us a little bit about that, that role, the senator's role. The senator, once the senator is elected, mm -hmm. the senator is also going to be elected by the whole county, mm -hmm. just like the governor. But the governor will remain Huko Mashinani. The senator will go to the National Senate. Where he represents the interests of, of, well, of, of that county, mm -hmm. but collectively okay. with the other senators. Mm -hmm. The governor, once elected with the county assembly, is the chief executive He's the one running uh, the county. The senator will not be running the county. The senator will be acting in conjunction with the other uh, senators. And the major, there are two major jobs uh, for the Senate, mm -hmm. the senators. One is to decide on uh, the allocation of funds to the counties. As I say, this 15% is only the minimum. Mm -hmm. So every five years, the Senate is obligated to decide how much money is going to go to the counties is between the counties and the it's, national it's a government. huge responsibility mm. precisely mm -hmm. any legislation that is going to touch all the counties is the responsibility of the senate above all impeachment of the president is the responsibility of the senate okay. so it so is very very you important. need to be careful three attributes you would you would like to see in a senator just as we wind up i think Time has come with this new constitution for the Kenyan people to accept it is their responsibility to elect everyone from the councillor mm -hmm. to the governor, to the members of the county assembly, to members of parliament, to the senator, to the president, men and women of integrity. Up to now, what has been happening is that the national resources, people get elected into government to go and line their pockets. Kenya is going to develop that has come, has got to come to a stop. It's got to end. Thank you yes. so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Paul. Thank you know, I keep saying, I'm going to say it again. If you wouldn't give them your money, don't elect them into office. Think very carefully about it. If you think about a con man, they're very quick to give you a little bit of money to get you caught in the trap so that they can steal the rest of your money. Just think about it that way um, when you're electing uh, the people uh, in the next, what, just two years? Precisely. Just two years yeah. only.